بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Welcome back dear students We have uh, reached our uh, last part of our semester and the two last lessons which are going to be enrichments but these enrichments are going to be specifically in we have here grammar and for meaning and function So we have studied in the four units two lessons in each unit we have here the grammar lesson and also the for meaning and function lesson so we are going to just pass by these two parts. We're going to just recall what are the structures and we are going to apply our exercises and you are going to just evaluate yourselves before the teacher evaluates you just to check your understanding and go back to what you need. So we are going to start with our first unit. Two is better than one. So we have here the first thing. We studied lots of things actually we studied uh, the word others and other and another, the difference between them. We had also emphatic do. We also studied the present simple and we compared it with the present progressive. We also had the part of words connected with two museums and galleries. And we had something about intensifiers, if you recall, with gradable adjectives. And also we have here intensifiers with ungradable adjectives. So we are going to pass by very quickly just to recall what we have here. And you can just have a chart and just mark your pro progress in your chart. So we're going to start. We have here. Now. Before we start, I want you just to know that sometimes there are hints that are hidden within the sentences that may help you while you do your exercises. So first of all, we have, let's go to work. We have the uh, grammar, emphatic do, and also other, others, and another. Now, what we learned here in our lessons, yes, we are going to go directly and just apply what we learned in the lessons here. Now we have the first exercise, complete with each sentence with other, others, and another. Now note that I said that some sentences, they do have hints that help you. Now you know that you must understand the sentences and look for the structure as well as the meaning. So we have here, I'm almost done with this cup of hot chocolate. Can you please bring me you want another? Some predators wait for their prey to come to them. Blank predators chase their prey. Now here the hint is in predators, which is plural. So we know that if there is plural, we are going to choose other predators. Don is so materialistic. Although he already has two cars, he's going to buy. We have here, yes another. He already has two and he's going to buy another. One lucrative crop for many farmers is soybeans. Now one and I am telling you that the other is corn or we can say in the sentence another is corn. Now also here just to remind you now if we have the sentence is done there is a full stop you are going to start the other sentence with a capital. So even if it is a blank here, you must pay attention to the smallest details. Number five, he excels in football, track, gymnastics, and a handful of blank sports. Sports is plural as well. So here we can say that we have your other. That store is a chain. There are a few in Spain and Italy and blank in France and Germany. So we are talking about stores. There are a few and others in France and Germany. Of course, we have here plural because we are talking about chains of restaurants or stores in more than one country. We have number seven. One of the most famous children's books by Dr. Seuss is The Cat in the Hat. Blank are one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and Horton hatches the egg. So we are talking about more than one book here. We can say that we have here others. Number eight, one option would be to spend the money on a vacation. Blank would be to put it in a savings account. So one option, and we have here another option would be. 
No, we have here another exercise. No, this is a simple exercise here. You can see that we have the words other, others, and another. They are underlined. Here, you are going to decide. We are together going to read, read each sentence and just tick whether the underlined word is an adjective or a pronoun. And you can see that we have here the column just to show you that we have two parts. So you are going to decide, is it a pronoun or an adjective in a sentence? So we have here the first thing. Let's just start. Now there are hints for you as well. Now let's start. We have the first one is done for you. Would you like another piece? Now I described it to be another piece. It is an adjective. Sure, I'd, li I'd love another also. So here we have a pronoun. Another what? Another piece. Here it is a pronoun. I have another computer. Would you like to use it? So I am describing the computer here. We have here it is an adjective and the hint here is that actually you have the noun mentioned so if you do have the noun in front of you in the sentence it is impossible to be a pronoun and we know that we are talking about an adjective some documentaries are interesting others aren't so this is a separate sentence here we know that we are talking about something before so this makes it a pronoun we need to get another car. This one is so old. So we are describing the car to be old and also we need another. Is there any other food? I don't eat steak. So we have here also, it is going to be an adjective. Many of the teachers are leaving, others aren't. So here, others aren't other who we are talking about the teachers so this makes it a pronoun I'm going to sit at the table with the other kids I describe the kids to be other coming to the last sentence I can't find my math book anywhere I might just buy another which makes it yes so we have here we know that there is no noun mentioned which makes it immediately a pronoun Moving on to what we have, we are going to just simply choose our correct answers. Now the first one, A, would you like another or other cup of tea? Yeah, we can just check with me the answers. We have here the word another. Sure, I would love another, thanks. Do you have another or others pen? So we have pen, which is singular, which makes it another. I'm sorry, I have other or others but I left them in my locker now here this is an important important point that you must read the sentence to the very end now from the pronoun them I can decide that my answer is going to be others it's cold outside you might want to wear blank clothes so we have here clothes is plural which makes us decide on other I'll be fine I'll just wear another sweater so we have here this part let's complete we have here I finished the reading did the teacher give us other or others homework no homework here is an uncountable noun here which makes us choose other no that was all of it these are great cookies I'm glad you like them would you like another now we have done the exercises here. This time we are going to focus on the emphatic do. Now remember that we said that do can emphasize the sentence. You can use it in the past or the present. So we have here do, does, or did. They can be applied within the sentences. So the first one, he eats shrimp. From the verb, you can see that it is in the present simple. There is an S. So we can emphasize by saying he does eat shrimp. It rained in New York yesterday. It did rain in New York from the ED, from the past. I feel sick. I do feel sick. They came to school last week. We can say from the past that we have here, they did come. And don't forget to just change the verb into the present again because we do have now a helping verb. 
Suzanne lives in Los Angeles because of the S we have here. She does live in Los Angeles. Moving on. Now, here we are going to correct the errors in the sentence. From the first sentence, we're going to just read and see what is the error and correct it. I do go to school yesterday. Now, I'm talking about the past. So here, it is wrong to use do, and we have here did. These shoes are uncomfortable. I think I'll wear other. So here, what is wrong with the sentence? We can see that other is incorrect. We have here, we can use others because we're talking about shoes. Faisal is going to the game with others, people. Now people here, can we use others with it? We can see that this one is incorrect and we have here other. Bob does wants to eat dinner with us. Now we are emphasizing by using does. So here, wants is actually incorrect and we can just use the word want. Moving on, we have, I think I'll buy another books. You can see that this one is boring. Of course, books is incorrect. We use singular. This ball is too small. Do you have another's? We are talking about one ball. So we have here, another's is incorrect. We have here, another. She do have a class right now. Now the pronoun she, is it correct to use do with it? We can say that this one is incorrect. We have here does. Some people agree with me, other don't. Of course, other is incorrect. We have here the word others. They did went to the game last night. We have the same mistake here. So we are not going to use went with the helping verb did. We have here, we, they did go to the game last night. And our last exercise, did Asma get another computers? Now computers here is going to be incorrect. We have here another computer. She already had two. Now, we have here the second part in Unit 1. It was mainly about the present simple. Now, if you recall that we compared it with the present progressive, we explained what we had, the difference in structure, and also we said that we can use the present progressive to talk about continual changes. And don't forget that also we use the two here adverbs. Now, what are the adverbs? Actually, they are not two, they are three. We have your always, continually and we have here constantly they m can be used with the present progressive also just to refresh your memories we are going to do an exercise here now read the interview with two company partners circle the correct form now the presenter says as more and more people set up or are setting up businesses together these days so what can we say we can say that they are setting up we interviewed two friends who are trying or try to make go of it. So what is correct to use? We can say that we have here, yes, the correct answer, are trying. We are waiting or wait for our first pair to arrive now. Now we are waiting. There are they, will it they, there are, they are. Let's welcome Ali and Faisal. Now when you say that someone is in front of you, there they are. So tell us about your experience of working together. You are or are being web designers, aren't you? So we have a tech question here, and of course, we just use are. How things go, are things going? Now we have a question here. We are going to ask how are things going? Is the business or the businesses is working out as planned? Now, very simple, we can see the answer is, is the business working out as planned? After that, as you can see that we had the uh, words that were connected and associated to museums and galleries as we studied. After that, we have here, of course, the two kinds of adjectives we had gradable and non-gradable. And just to recall that we had the different intensifiers that are used with specific adjectives. So you can see that we have here the gradable and of course the non-gradable, or we say that they cannot be measured. We have different adjectives and also different intensifiers as well.
Moving on, we have the exercise. So let's just do it very quickly here. Now, you do have to know or uh, uh, be sure of what type of adjective you have here. Now, the first thing, the new gallery is extremely or completely popular. You can say that it is extremely. With visitors, it is really or very amazing. Which one is correct? So we have here, it is really amazing place to go when you are in the center of the city. The works of art on display are pretty or absolutely stunning. So we know that we have here absolutely. The paintings are in totally or extremely bright colors. We can say that we have here extremely. Though there are some quite or very terrifying illustrations, we have here the answer. Oh, sorry, we have here. Yes, quite. There are also a number of sculptures which are quite or extremely beautiful. We have here extremely. So now you know like extremely beautiful. It is different from saying absolutely stunning. And some of them are very or absolutely priceless. There's a quite or really massive selection. So we have here, there's a quite. And the admission prices are very or quite reasonable. We have here, yes, the answer. Now, actually, number eight, we can say quite or really. Now, we know that the word really, it can be used with gradable and non-gradable as well. Leading us to quite reasonable. Among those often exhibited there are many or absolutely really important. Of course, we have here really important local and foreign artists. So don't miss it. It's absolutely fascinating. Now moving on, we have the, of course, we completed our uh, revision for the uh, first unit. We are going to see the second unit, what we have in grammar two. Now, just to recall, we have here the differences between used to be used to using would and also using was or were going to in our sentences. Now there are four different structures. Of course, as uh, usual, I advise you to concentrate on the structure and also uh, the meaning at the same time. So we have the two tenses, the present and the past. We are going to focus, of course, on the past or the, sorry, the present perfect and compare it to the past. So first of all, if you remember that in the past, we talked about the differences, of course, here, the four structures. And then going back to the past here, as we said, that we have your I used to, and we have your I would and was going to, they are all connected to the past. Now let's just change here in the sentences. I used to play video games. Now we can say here that, yes, we have your play, now, I'm not used to speaking English, and we have here, when I was a child, I wouldn't sleep. So this is a, just a reminder to basically just concentrate on what is the word that follows. Now, you know that when you have used to in the sentence and would, and if you have was and were going to in the sentence, you must use the base form. But if you are using be used to, you are talking about something that is a habit or a routine at the present time. So you can I'll just follow up with a noun after it. Moving on, we have here. Yes, so 100 years ago, people would travel on animals. Let's just complete together. We have here, my friend is used to. You can just choose any type of sentence. We can say, for example, here, participate in international competitions. My country didn't used to, a free answer, have a metro system, but now they do. People in my city are used to driving in traffic. My first teacher would play games with us. The students at my school are used to online work. My grandparents didn't used to use smartphones. So if you notice from the sentences, they are, as I told you, we follow up with the correct form. Now we have here, would here was followed by the base form, travel. We have here, used to participate, base form. We have also, didn't used to have a metro system. 
there, it's, there is the base. But here we can see that we have your R used to. So we are talking about the present time. We have here a noun after that, a gerund driving. Would has the base form, play. R used to is followed by a noun. And the last one, used to, use, base form. So here, this just shows or proves that we have here the correct forms. Now we have a task here to rewrite the underlying sentences with used to, be used to, or would. So we're going to just apply in these two examples we have here. When we, he, sorry, when he lived in Riyadh, he often drove by Faisaliya Tower. How can you use one of the forms that we have here? We can say, for example, when he lived in Riyadh, he often drove by Faisaliya Tower. When he lived in Riyadh, he often used to drive by, by Faisaliya Tower. We have number two. Bobby felt lonely when his sister went to college. It felt strange not having her in the house. We can just answer here that he was used to having her in the house. So here, the best way is just to practice and apply them in sentences. Of course, we do have some errors here. Just check with me and see what is wrong. I would know her name, but now I can't remember it. Now here, actually, would is wrong. Now I can say that I used to know her name, but now I can't remember. And this shows the difference between used to and would. Now we said that they are similar, but they are similar if we are talking about something that was habitual in the past. They are used to live in a small place. Here, what is wrong in our sentence? Of course, we have here live. They are used to living. We have here a noun. I were going to call my sister, but she called me first. Of course, we have here the word were. We're going to replace it with the word was. Moving on, we have here also, we can say that they aren't used to the cold weather. We have here, yes, actually we have to add the D because we have verb to be. When he was a child, he would studies is incorrect. What can you say? He would study. Bill has, lot of, has lost a lot of weight. He didn't used to be thin. So here we have the word used to is incorrect. He didn't use to be thin. Just take out the D. And the last one, I knew the radio wasn't going work. Now there is something missing here. We have here, we're going to say that it wasn't going to work. Moving on to see what we have. We have mentioned the past. Now we are going to connect it with the present as we took in our lesson before meaning and function lesson. So what did we say? We made questions. We have here, of course, making yes, no questions with did. If you remember, we also had the present perfect symbol by using has or have in the sentence. We also asked questions using how long and have you ever to ask about experience. We also used for and since. Now just to remember that for is with a counted or a number of time and we have here since it is a period mentioned. Now let's start this exercise. We have here write complete sentences using the present perfect. Now my cousin buy a house in Riyadh. We can make it a complete sentence here by saying, my cousin has bought a house in Riyadh. So here it is important also to change the verb and use the correct form. Samir begin to study economics at college. We say here Samir has begun to study economics at college. We go shopping in the mall. We say here that we have gone shopping at the mall or in the mall. My parents live in Mecca for all their lives. Here, the sentence completely becomes, my parents have lived in Mecca all their lives. Now, this is an easy exercise here, just to apply either for or since. So we have here, it has been raining two hours numbered. So we have here for two hours. In the second sentence, Sena has lived in Jubail, 1999, a period. So it's going to be since. Cook the fish, counted three minutes, so we have here four. 
I haven't seen Huda Blank last week, so we have your period since last week. We have been studying for exams Monday, so here we can say since Monday. And we have he has been sick four days. We have counted, so we have four, four days. Now, we have other exercises as well. We can see that we have, have you ever flown in the helicopter? Noura has made five phone calls so far. We have seen this film twice this year. I haven't finished my project yet. Have they already closed the shop? The company has been, hasn't been very successful recently. Now use uh, each group of words to write two sentences. We have here, just for examples, uh, now we have the same as we have done before. Now just to complete the sentence that we have here, but the difference that there are different structures that you can apply in the same example. We have also here, as you can see, for example, let's just do one. We have here number three, I buy many books online that, the, the, this past year. So I can say either we have here, I bought many books online this past year, or I have bought many books online. So I used two structures, two different structures in the same example. Now we have completed our second part, which is unit two. We have uh, revised used to, be used to, would, we have also the present perfect tense, the past simple. We also revised was and we're going to. We have here also how about how long, using for and since, and as we mentioned, asking for experience by saying how have you ever. Now this is the, the four minicum function that we have in grammar, unit one and two. We ha are going to complete with grammar unit three and four, inshallah, in our next lesson, so be ready.